Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created and tested login API call in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will design our login component with login reactive form and form controls with validations in our Angular application. So let's get started. So in our angular application first of all we need to create a form in the ts file of login component and to do this we will open login.component.ts and in this component in the imports array we will import our shared module and we will import this from our shared folder and after this we will create a constructor in this component and in this constructor first of all we will inject form builder to build the reactive form and after this we will inject auth service to call the apis and after this we will inject ng message service to show the messages to the user and at the end we will inject router to navigate the user to other routes and after this we will click on quick fix and we will add all missing imports and after this we need to create a form group and we will name this as validate form and the type of this will be form group and we will import it from angular slash forms and after this we will create ng on init method in this component and in this ng on init we need to build our reactive form so we will write this dot validate form is equals to and after this we will use our form builder and we will call a method group and in this group method we need to mention the controls and for the first control we will name this as email and after this for the by default value we will set it as null and after this for the validators we will give validators dot required and after the email we will name the second control as password and for by default value we will give null and at the end for the validators we will give validators dot required and after this let's update the spellings of null and with this our ts code is completed in the login component now let's save this file and after this we will open login.component.html and in this html file first of all we will create a div and we will give it a class of bg and we will give a background color as well and after this in this div we will create another div and we will give it a class of parent and in this parent we will create another div and we will give it a class of child and after this in this div first of all we need to show the title of the page so we will create another div and we will give it a class of image div and in this div we will create h1 tag and after this for the text we will give this as login and after this we need to create our login form and to do this we will use form tag and after this for the form group we will bind our validate form and in this form tag now we need to mention the controls so we will create ng form item tag and in this ng form item tag we will create ng form control tag and for the ng error tip we will give please input your email and after this in this ng form control we will create input tag and for the form control name we will give this as email and with this our form item for the email is completed now we need to create a form item for the password so we will create another ng form item tag and in this ng form item we will create ng form control and for the ng error tip we will give please input your password and after this to get the password from the user we will create input tag and for the form control name we will give password and with this our form controls are completed now we need to create buttons and to do this we will use button tag and after this for the ng type we will give this as primary and for the text we will give login and after this login button we need to create a link to redirect the user to the register page and to do this we will create a tag and in this a tag we will give the text as register now and on the click for the router link we will give the url as slash register and with this our html code for the login component is completed now let's save this file and let's open login.component.scss and in this file i will paste the css code and you can pause the video and you can copy this css now let's save this file and let's run our application. 
and as you can see our application is up without any error now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our login page and in the browser we will click on this login button and as you can see we got redirected to the login page and on this page we have a card with the title of login and in this card we have two inputs for the email and password and after this we have a login button and a link to go to the register page and after this let's type something in the password and let's remove and as you can see we got the validation error message please input your password and after this let's click on this register now link and as you can see we got redirected to our sign up page and that's it for today's video in the next video we will write the code to call login api from our angular application